Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sunflower Sims, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today we are building another family home. I know, what a surprise. This is a craftsman style family home. Uh, well, kind of craftsman-ish. Um, I don't know how true to the style it is, but whatever. Um, and I am building here in Newcrest. This home has a detached garage, and I kind of modeled it after, um, I believe Simless did this recently, where they had a detached garage and it was like, well, it's not really a detached garage because there's a little part that connects. You'll see me build that in a second. Uh, but yeah, so this house is built for a large family. Uh, it is built for two parents, one to two parents, a teen, a child, and a toddler. Uh, yeah, this house has four bedrooms and four bathrooms. This is a really large family home, but it is on a pretty big lot. It's on like a 40 by 30 or something like that. I have to go back and check all the details, but yeah. Uh, so this is coming out the week that the new expansion is coming out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the expansion this week, um, or not. We just, I'll just have to see. I'm pre-recording this like a week or two in advance. So we'll see if when this comes out, if I will be getting the expansion that week, we will just have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, um, I am very excited about it though. It's just a matter of, um, do I want to, do I want to spend the money on that right now? For those of you who don't know, I'm in grad school and that's very expensive as is, let alone buying Sims games. Um, yes. So here I am trying to level out the garage a little bit or at least um what are the words I'm trying to look for I'm raising the terrain to be even so that way the foundation isn't showing so it looks like you could just drive right into the garage theoretically if we actually had cars on the sims 4 which we don't have like real cars we only have the debug cars but you all know that I'm sure anyway and then I'm trying to pick what um like brick and siding I want to use on the house and I was trying to make sure that it wasn't too similar to any of the other houses I've already built in this neighborhood of Newcrest so I ended up going for this brick with this green siding and I really like the way it turned out so here you'll see I am building like a faux chimney this time I do not use one of like the EA or well, yeah, the EA chimneys. I don't use one of the in-game chimneys. I build my own chimney. And yeah, it was really fun. I've seen lots of people do it before and I just don't do it that often. And then you'll see over there on the right side where I was talking about how I somewhat attached the garage. Uh, so it's a little bit away from the house, but there is that connection there. And here I am just placing some windows and doors. For once, I don't use white windows and doors. I use other colors. And... Yeah, so what else can I tell you about this house? Uh, you'll see we are going to have a pool in the backyard, a barbecue area, a kids play area, and like a movie night area, as well as a bonfire. Uh, the inside is very spacious. There is a lot of room in the entryway and living room. Like there's a lot of empty space. I really just could not figure out what to do with it. Um... And like it would have been kind of small, it would have been too small, I think, to cut it in half and make half the living room and half an office or something. And the way I had set up where I wanted the fireplace to go, I just had it a certain vision in mind and it wasn't going to work to split it up with the vision that I had. So there's just a lot of empty space. So if you want to redo the floor plan a little bit for your own personal gameplay, go for it. But yeah, that's just what I came up with. So you'll see here we are moving on into the living room. Well, after we do the stairs here at least. Uh, yeah, so I did the floor plan and then I went back and did all of like the um, landscaping and stuff as per usual. And then I was trying to, f I was having a hard time at first trying to figure out this floor plan uh, it was going to have this really awkward shaped room there. And then I was like, that's not going to make any sense. Because what I wanted to do was have this open to the floor below. But then it kept popping like the roof in. And I'm not sure how to fix that. I know people have figured out a way to fix it. I just don't really understand how to do that. So I got to look into that and figure that out. Also, I'm sorry, you probably just heard my iPad and my phone bing. Um, I got a text. 
So here we are working on the exterior. Uh, I am trying to figure out uh, what I want to do for the porch and doing some of the landscaping. Uh, I do have obviously a covered porch, so I was trying to pick out the columns that I liked best and figuring out the spacing on them. And then uh, we start doing the landscaping any second now. Uh, so I do build this walkway going out to the sidewalk and then I connect it to the driveway, although I had to do terrain paint um, because because the land isn't flat, going over to the driveway like it wasn't gonna um, it wasn't gonna work well with like tile or flooring or anything or like outdoor brick or whatever. And then I use just a lot of greenery for this landscaping. I don't use anything too colorful. I also try and hide, well, I do bring in some color. I also try and hide the slope over there. I Okay, I have enough color with the flowers, I guess, with those, but they're still very green, bushy flowers. Um, but yes, I try and cover up the uh, slope here where the garage is connecting to the house. Uh, I do the best I can with that. And then uh, I do some landscaping wrapping around the side of that porch. And then I was going to do a fence in the front, but I realized it wasn't going to, it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. So I decided against that. And then I am trying to decorate the front porch a little bit, uh, putting in some benches, trying to figure out what I want to put besides benches and lights, but I think that's about all that is put on the porch, at least in the front. And then, yeah, I will make a note, the bathroom on the downstairs floor on the main level, I forget to do on camera. I don't realize I didn't do it until I'm working on the screenshot. So I do go back and do that like at the end after I've like finished recording. So when you uh, download this from the gallery, it will have the finished bathroom. So here I am finishing up some doors and windows and I am moving on into the back yard. Uh, uh, yeah, so I was trying to do something a little bit interesting here with the pool. Um, I was trying to make it a different shape and trying to, uh, do something fun but it was a little difficult at first and then it started having like these weird angles and I think I even it out maybe a little bit also if you heard me writing I apologize I just write down the t I've started writing down the times that I like move on to the next part of the house like exterior landscaping backyard um just so that way I can put the timestamps in at YouTube uh anyway so I'm just adding some decals to the pool and adding in a ladder I will add this diving board uh or not diving board but diving platform whatever you want to call it I add a nice whale pool floaty and then I was playing around a little bit with the trim on the pool I was trying to see if there was anything else fun I could add but I couldn't really think of anything and then we start moving on to the barbecue area so I do give them this I believe I stick with this table uh with the umbrella on it and there is a grill and I believe uh I do include uh, like the outdoor outdoor garbage can out here and then I include a hot tub and I go ahead and put a fire pit on the right side there um, in the grass. Um, you'll see me put it in in just a moment. I guess it's more of a uh, bonfire than a fire pit, but it fit really well in there. And I think it looked nice kind of nestled between the fence lines and the grass, and I really liked it. Uh, so then I go in and I add some terrain paint to it so that way it's not just like true grass or pure grass. And then I add in this really pretty tree that came from, I believe, movie Hangout Stuff. And I add in the outdoor projector from the camper's kit. Uh, and then I just add a couple of decorations. I add like a s'mores thing. I know it's a little far from the bonfire, but they could, you know, take it over to the bonfire. I figured they could sit out on that blanket. And then I am fencing off this area to make a sandbox for the kids' play area. 
I do imagine, like I said, there's a toddler and a child as well as a teen. So I add some stuff for both a toddler and a child. I end up adding a ball pit along with swings and monkey bars and a slide. So there's lots of activities for your kids to do out here. I think I also am going to be throwing in a activity table too. So like I said, there's a lot of activities for your kids to do for the older kids. They can go in the pool and there's the hot tub and all the nice patio space. I think it's a good balance of like patio space and yard space, which I really liked about this build. Um, also, I don't know where I put the mailbox, but I must put it somewhere at some point because it like didn't show up in the screenshots like when I went to take the screenshots and moved an actual person in his house, it didn't show up in the living room, I don't think. I didn't notice it if it did. So I must have placed it somewhere at some point. Uh, but yeah, so now we're moving on to the interior. And we are um, working on the living room. So I did a little bit of an exposed um, uh brick wall on the back for the fireplace at first I was going to do the whole wall but then I didn't like the way it looks so I did a partial wall and I believe I end up switching out these couches yeah for modular furniture I think that it just fit the space a little bit better I was trying to play around with different like couches and sofas but I just felt for this space, it was going to work really well to have a nice modular set. So that's what I ended up going with. And then I put down a coffee table. This living room has a lot of toys in it because they do have a toddler and a child, as I've mentioned, like 7,000 times at this point. Uh, so I imagine that this house has a little bit of kid mess around. Uh, but yeah, I use a lot of like browns and... Um, kind of like purpley browns throughout this house um as you can see by the wallpaper in this room i tried to make it feel really warm and cozy oh there i am placing a mailbox oh so i didn't forget about it um and then yeah so you'll see this big space i really didn't know what to do with it i stick a piano in here i imagine uh that one of the parents or one of the children is really into music and then I put down this rug from werewolves and at first I didn't realize there were scratches all over it and then I realized there were scratches and I was like you know what that actually works really well for a front doormat because it can look like it's been worn down from people walking in and out so much not necessarily because werewolves scratch shit you know and then I use that mirror from werewolves because I'm obsessed with it I think it is so fun uh I love it it's beautiful and moving on to the dining room, so I had accidentally, like, recorded, did that off camera, so I just, like, did control Z and everything, and then control Y, so you'll, that's why it went so fast, but I wanted to kind of show, like, what I did and, like, my process for it, but I also, like, just forgot to record that part. I forgot to hit record on OBS. Uh, so now we are into the kitchen, and I've talked through a lot of the kitchen already, but I go for this deep uh, brown color for the cabinets and the light countertops, and I really like it. I think it's a pretty contrast. Again, I think it feels really warm and homey. Uh, so I don't really do anything too atypical in this kitchen. Um, I just kind of throw in all of the typical things, and I can't quite tell what I put on that counter next to the stove. I think it's a bread box, and I imagine the kids painted it. Uh, if you are new to my channel, um, and Filmora Wondershare, when I am editing, there is like in the right corner, upper corner of my screen is the build and it's usually pretty blurry and grainy um, while I am doing the voiceover. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what exactly an object was, is. Like I can't tell you like which lot this is because I can't, it's like all blurred out. I can't tell you um, what packs things are from unless I just have it memorized. So yeah. Anyway, this is the master bathroom. We just talked to the master bedroom. Uh, that went really fast. Um, yes, the bathrooms upstairs are pretty much all the same. The only thing I change is that um, like patterns on the shower curtains, like the main bathroom and then the bathroom attached to the teens room both have um, the shower just with different shower curtain patterns. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same uh, for the most part. Well, the two 
the two um, bedrooms for the kids are the same, but the master bedroom is a little different. Master bath is a little different. And then we are moving on into the teen's room. Any moment, I decided that this teen was really into sports, um, that they were really into pastels and pinks and really into sports. So that's what I ended up going with for them. I imagine they were like really into soccer and volleyball um, because in the sports, the like pile of sports equipment that we have from, I don't remember where, uh, one of the swatches is volleyball. And then we have a lot of soccer posters and a lot of football posters. So I imagine she was, re- he or she was really into soccer and football. I was imagining a girl um, in here, but it could be any gender. Uh, doesn't matter. And you can always switch colors around if you prefer that. I add in a desk and a computer, and I think this is the only computer in the house, to be honest. You probably would want to add a desk and a computer. You could probably easily add one in the big empty living room space. I give her a punching bag because, again, I imagine she's very into sports and very athletic. Um, That kind of started with the shower curtain theme, Uh, and then I just throw up a ton of sports posters around this room. I just tried to find various ones, and... Yeah, I think this bedroom is kind of fun. It's different. I've never done like a very pastel, traditionally girly bedroom with sports. I just have never combined those two things. So why not? There's no reason you can't be stereotypically girly, but also really like sports. Why not? So I uh, did that. And then we are moving on to the child's room here. I placed something downstairs. I don't know what I placed downstairs. Uh, Moving on to the child's room. Uh, I went for just a very like gray neutral theme in here. Um, I imagine this could go for either gender very easily. I think it's a very, um, neutral room. Um, but yeah, so I add in some this circle rug with these colors. There's some color in it, but it's also very neutral, like I said. And then in a second, we're going to be moving on to the toddler's room. Oh, I imagine that this child was very into space. Um, so I add lots of space things. And then we move on into the toddler's room. The toddler's room is kind of like a uh, nature and dinosaur and imaginary creatures theme, to be honest. It's kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of things. I kind of imagine either the kid helped decorate the room for his his or her younger sibling, or the um, toddler just kind of picked out whatever they wanted from a store, um, and then the parents just kind of went along with it. So that's about it. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload, And yeah, I'm giving away a pack of some kind when we get to 100 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. I'm sorry for the times I forget what it was like living life like a silhouette Tracing the lines and ignore what's inside Till you came into my life Sometimes I see it all so clear You are the reason I'm I was in the dark, but you were the light Guiding me through this night Guide me through this night I keep my head up towards the sky and look for you like a satellite When things go wrong and I'm out of touch You always find a way to send me love and lose in you In the grass 
Underneath the midnight sky You looked at me and asked Is this love and will it last? I couldn't help 